Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Carolyn. Y'all, I know I've been gone for a minute, but I tell you what, this job that I have is so demanding, and sometimes it's just hard, I don't even feel like getting on camera and doing a video when I get off, but today I took off, so I decided to go ahead and get myself a video in. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And yes, I am doing this by myself today. My husband is at work. Well, he's probably off now, but running around trying to pay some bills. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. By saying my grace, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Lord, I ask that you allow it to be nourishment and not harm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And y'all, my throat is kind of... Scratchy, pollen, change of the weather. Because here in South Carolina, it's hot during the day, and then it gets cool at night, so that change of weather will do you in. But anyway, we're going to move on. I'm having some good cold water, and I'm going to go ahead and take me a sip because I am so thirsty. It is 20 minutes to 6, and this is the first meal I'm having today. Oh, y'all, that was really cold. And I got two of them over here because I know I'm thirsty. So, today I'm having some corn on the cob. You probably can't see everything I have. I have some corn on the cob. I have some lemons, boiled eggs, some bacon wrapped asparagus. I have two Dungeness crabs. I'm not going to pick those up, but you can see. Here and here, I have two Dungeness crabs, and I have some super colossal shrimp. And I have me some B Love sauce here on the side for my dipping. So y'all, I'm hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. That's my air that just kicked on. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Y'all, I'm taking my jewelry off. I don't like to eat. With my jewelry on, have it all sticky. I know you can wash your hands, but ugh, I just don't like that. So, y'all, they are supposed to go on the second stimulus package today, and I haven't heard yet whether or not they've done that. I got my asparagus wrapped in bacon, you know. It is so good. And I sprinkled some smoked paprika on the top of it. Delicious. I'm trying to make sure I eat more veggies. I'm trying to get back into my keto. But y'all, it's so hard sometimes. Especially when the rest of your family is eating good food. And don't get me wrong. Keto has some good food, but sometimes you just want a little bit of some of what everybody else eating. But if you stick to it, I can assure you that that will work. You, the way to drop, but you have to stick to it. I mean, not you. Sometimes I do lazy keto, so I'm honest. Piece of this egg here. Y'all, I might be called a lot of things, but one thing I am is an honest person. I will give you my honest, true opinion. So if you don't want it, then don't ask. There you go. When I was younger growing up, I used to hear people say the truth hurts. And I was grown old enough to realize, yeah, the truth do hurt, but no matter what, you should always still tell the truth.
and cause if you tell a lie, you're gonna spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out what you said the last time. So tell the truth, and you can always tell the truth over and over again. Oh, I tell my son. No matter what he do or what happens, always tell me the truth because I can respect you if you tell me the truth. But if you lie to me, that's it. I can't trust nothing you say. And y'all, we've all told a lie before, even myself. But as I get older, I realize the truth will set you free. Because when you're telling a lie, you're bound. You're bound to try to remember what you said. Why not tell the truth? You know, Memorial Day is almost here. And I have to get me another grill. Probably go next week and get one. Oh my God, I didn't even bring it, y'all, because it was leaning. One of the wheels or two of the wheels were broke on it, so I told my husband, I'm not dragging that with me. We're done the trash pile. Oh, I'll leave it for whoever wanted it, if somebody else wanted it. I don't like broke down stuff. So. Excuse me. Y'all know I hardly ever finish my food, but I deliberately didn't eat today in hopes that I could finish my food. So we're going to see. These shrimps are bigger than what they look, y'all. Trust and believe. And I got some onions and garlic down here in my sauce. So glad it is Friday. I thank God for a job, but my goodness, y'all. By the end of the week, I am ready. And anybody that works probably feel the same way.
gotta get my seasoning off there. <clears throat> I'm gonna send a shout out to one of my co workers, Willette Jones. Thank you so much for your support. She always watch my videos. She said, Miss Carolyn, you got a video for me today? So shout out to you, Willette. She's faithful. I always watch my videos. And as a matter of fact, shout out to all of you guys that watch my videos. You don't have to do it. I always say there's always something else you could be doing. You don't have to take time out to watch my videos. But I thank you for taking the time and coming to check me out. And to all my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. To all my old subscribers, thank you for hanging in there. My girl, Lady D, thank you. Eating with Purpose, thank you. My fellow YouTubers, we support each other. And that's what it's all about. Supporting each other. And that's what it's all about. I thank y'all so much for always watching my videos. comment robbery to come and check my little videos out thank you thank you thank you and welcome 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 so y'all they're supposed to be voting on that new stimulus package today I have not heard my husband text me and ask me, did they vote on it? I told him, I, didn't, I don't know. I haven't heard anything yet. But there are so many people that really need help. And the government really needs to step up because it's their fault we in this pandemic. So long on that water, because if I don't, I will not eat my food. I'm about to slow it down. I'm going to up cutting my hair again. I don't know though. I want to and then I don't want to. I like it short in the summer, but guess what? I ain't going to be doing much things outside this summer, so. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, so. We shall see. I like the shortcuts for the summer because they're pretty much low maintenance. I don't have to do much to it. And my hair is very fine, very soft. Excuse me. And the least little bit of moisture, it curls right up. So why not cut it short and wear it like that? since it's so hard to find some <clears throat> snow crab legs. I've been wanting some snow crab legs. I'm going to have to break down and order me some from online, I guess. 
It's hard finding them around here. And then when they do, they're not fresh. This bilo sauce is good with just about anything. And I'm still working on my first bag because I don't make them by the big batch. I make it as I use it. And I don't always have a taste for it when I do a wall, so I don't want to waste it. And I know they said you can freeze it, but I like mine fresh. Dungeness. Y'all, they are huge. Look at that. They are huge, y'all. We have to definitely clean them out, though. <clears throat> This is my second time having these. The shells aren't really hard like oh excuse me. Like the blue crab. Yo, I ain't look at my phone. I know my phone will ring. Never fail. My mama get it though. And my sister Queenie. They're gonna hear your whole conversation. I'm Go in your room, they're gonna hear your whole conversation. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It never fails. The phone will ring in the middle of you doing this a video, or somebody will come to the door. But well, guess what? That's life. y'all but I guess I got spoiled with the king crab because you get such a big piece of meat at one time it take me too long to get in these things here and like I said I ain't trying to break my few little teeth I, I got I ain't trying to break them off I need them my little nephew Arion he's such a sweet little fella and every time I go see him, he like to take his hand and do this. I said, listen, don't be pulling my teeth because I need a few of yours. He is so sweet, y'all. He, he was a preemie. And my God, he had such challenges trying to get here. But I thank God he made it here. And he's doing so good. He's such a sweet little fella. He's the joy of our family. Arion. He's truly a miracle baby. Ain't nothing like having a baby in the house. They this all the life in the house. The only babies I got now is a fur baby. My baby turned 19 this year. And guess what? Guess what, y'all? 
Simply because I ain't having no more. Mm -mm. I am 52 years old. My baby days is over. I will help anybody. I love kids. And I will help anybody that have kids and need some help. Because like I said, I love kids. But mm -mm. I have it more. That's a no-no for me. My husband's talking about he want a baby. I tell him he better love that cat. That little black cat we got. Better love him. Mr. Midnight. That's the only baby I'm giving him. Sister girl is through with that top part of it. Y'all, it's hard. Pregnancy wasn't bad, but that labor and delivery, I thought I was out of here. I had a hard labor and delivery. And I was a diabetic mom. My Lord. I'll never forget that. Me and my son almost lost our life behind childbirth, but thank God he brought us too. And I said to myself, I don't want no more. After I had him, I said, I must have cursed myself because I didn't get no more. And it was so hard for me to get pregnant with him. But what you shall have in this life, God will make sure you have it. And if it ain't meant for you to have, guess what? You ain't going to get it. Because our life is not our own. It's not about us. It's about God and his plans for us. And when people begin to realize that's what it's all about, then their lives will be more better. Okay. Oh, this is fabulous. This is good. This is one of my new favorite vegetables. asparagus in the microwave. I used to put it in the oven. Why well, it takes so long? So what I do, if I'm going to wrap bacon around it, what I'll do, I'll cut my ends off, rinse it off really good, pat them dry, and I get the bacon that's the pre-cooked bacon. Wrap it around, put a paper plate, and then put a paper towel on the paper plate, and then I wrap my bacon and put it so it won't fall, you know, ravel back or loose. Put it in the microwave. And I like crunchy bacon, so you have to cook it according to the way your microwave cooks. Excuse me, y'all. Now that's my phone ringing. Where is it? I hear it, but I don't even see it. Oh, well. Bear with me again, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry. That was my alarm letting me know it's time for me to get off. So, I forgot to turn it off today due to the fact that I'm not working. And y'all, yesterday, I woke up about 5 o'clock in the morning with the worst headache. And I don't have headaches. Ugh, excuse me. I mean, the headache literally woke me out of my sleep. So I called off yesterday. I had requested for today off, but I just couldn't go. I couldn't log in yesterday, which I work from home, but I couldn't log in, y'all. My head was thumping. I think it was a migraine. I've only had headaches like that once or twice during my life. And when they are that bad till you can't hold your head up off the pillow, you're nine times out of ten, it's a migraine. So I stayed in my bed yesterday and I kept my window 
not my window, my shades pulled because it's like that was the only way I could get some relief. So I did take something for it when it woke me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I took two leaves and I laid back down because I wasn't due to sign on until 9. So at 7.30, I woke back up and y'all, it had eased off some, but I could still feel it. It was like right here in my temple. So at that point, I said, I made up in my mind, I said, you know what, I'm not going to try to sign on this phone today. And I'm glad I didn't because it took the majority of the day for me to get some relief. But I thank God today I feel so much better. No headache. And I'm a person that don't get headaches like that, so I knew something was not right. I don't get headaches. If I get one, something your body is telling you something's wrong. But I thank God for his grace and mercy and for taking that away from me. There you go, y'all. Piece of claw meat. I said, we've been doing so much overtime, and they finally told us that we didn't have to do it anymore. But I think the toll had already taken its toll on me. And because they were making it mandatory that we had to do it, though. So you either have to come on early before your shift and get it done, or you'd have to stay on late. Either way, it's, you know, after a while, it just... It just takes its toll on you. And no, don't get me wrong. I need the overtime. I enjoy doing it. But after a while, your body just gets tired. I know mine do. The older I get, the more I can't do. I remember the time, y'all, when I was younger. I'd go to work, work my little eight hours or nine hours, whatever. Come home. Wash a couple of loads of clothes. Cook dinner. Clean up, like vacuum and, you know, clean the bathroom or whatever needs to be done. All of that in a day. But child, no. Woo. I could be on the clock and thinking, okay, when I get up, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But honey, baby, by the time this old girl get off and get herself situated, all that be done changed because I ain't even got energy to do it. So... Hey, Mr. Midnight, I see you down there. You want a piece of crab, don't you? Uh-huh. Oh, I know I ain't got no business cracking these with my teeth. And I need to eat all that I have. Ooh. Well, y'all, I've been on here yicking and yakking my mouth for the longest, but I missed y'all. So I had to come and check out my peeps. And like I said, I appreciate y'all for tuning into my little channel, watching my videos. Y'all share it. If you think anyone would like seeing it, share it. And when you come in, or either when you go out, give me a thumbs up so YouTube will keep my videos in the suggestion. That helps them suggest to other people that's watching to view my videos. I thank y'all for stopping by, checking me out. And if you like this video, give your girl a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, y'all, that thumbs up button. Give me a hit. And once you subscribe, there's a notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you are aware each time I upload a new video. I want y'all to know that I love you all with the love of Jesus. Stay safe and stay blessed. And I will see you on my next video.
goodbye and thank you for stopping by.